Hello, my name is Joe Naus. I'm one of Revere Electric's technical consultants, and I'm here today to show you how to convert a PanelView standard application over to the PanelView Plus 7 performance or standard for that matter. So, to, before we get started, what I wanted to do is tell you a little bit more about the file type that we need to work with. So, the PanelView standard actually uh, is was created with a software application called Panel Builder 32. And when you create an application in the Panel View standard, the file type of that application ends with PBA. And I believe that stands for Panel Builder Application. Now there's also another file type that can be converted to the Panel View Plus 7, and that's PVA. And that is I don't know what that stands for, but I do know that that is the panel view runtime application that gets downloaded to the panel view standard. And then I have a screenshot of one of the screens in the application that we'll talk about later. And this is what it looks like. So it's a uh, start stop control for some motors and pumps. And uh, we'll be referencing this screen later uh, when we do the conversion. So I'll just minimize that for now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up Factory Talk View Studio. So we'll do that. I'm using version 13 as you can see. And then we're going to go into View Machine Edition. And our next step is to actually create a new application. So here we're going to click on the tab up at the top called New. And we're going to give it a name. I'll start with Conversion. I'll just use that. And then down here we'll have English as our language. And the resolution we will choose, since the application we currently have is a 10 inch, I'm going to stick with the 10 inch in the Panel View Plus 7 standard in performance. And then there's a checkbox or a radio button here to where you have to tell the application what, what type of terminal you're going to be running this on. The 7 performance, obviously as the name implies, is a terminal that actually has fewer limitations. It can actually have many more screens than the 7 standard. I believe at the current time the PanelView Plus 7 standard can have a total of 100 screens and it can talk to one controller, whereas the 7 performance can talk to multiple controllers and the screen limit isn't 100 screens. Uh, it's basically only limited by memory. So for this example, we'll use the 7 performance. Now instead of hitting Create, we're going to hit Import. And then here, we have the option for the Panel Builder application, the PBA file, or the panel view terminal PVA file. Because I have the PBA file currently, I'm going to select this, hit next, and then type or browse for the name. So I hit the ellipsis button here, and the path, since I've done this once before, the path is already the same. So this is where my PBA file is located. So I'll highlight that, hit open. And then click next. Now this area can be kind of tricky because sometimes people will want to convert to the new window size um, and have scaling go on. What I found sometimes you have to do trial and error with this. What I found with this application is just to keep the existing window size keeps the graphics the cleanest because no scaling is involved. So we're going to leave that and then this is checked by default since there's touch objects that's a good thing that we want to keep that and then we're going to hit finish and it should actually start running now the conversion process again this conversion process is going to be bringing in screens tags alarms if there are alarms and so forth
Now, because of my current Windows 10 security settings, sometimes you'll be prompted to, depending on your security level, if you want to run this app. And this application basically allows uh, the application to grab more information from the panel builder file. So it's okay to hit yes. All right, so the conversion completes. You'll usually get this summary screen, and this summary screen will tell you what things had to be converted or if there was any conversion errors that need further adjustment by engineering. But it looks like on most of these screens, they took a display object that's not in the Panel View Plus 7 you know, development software and it converts it to a multi-state indicator. So this object is very similar to the old message display object. So that that's not a big deal. And then at the end, it actually shows where the convert conversion log is located if you want to review it later. So we'll hit OK. Now at this point, if I expand displays, We'll look at the we'll look at the um, motor screen that we looked at earlier. I believe that was motor screen one. And again, this is what it would look like after the program is converted. So it looks pretty much the same. Again, this will help operators um, use the same. Everything's laid out the same as before, so it'll be easy for them to continue using the new screen with the old application. So at this point, what I wanted to do is just show you again um, kind of how it works under the hood here. So if I look at this stop motor 2 object and I double click on it, all the tag references are tied to this tab called connections. So if I open this, you'll see there's this B55273 with a bi-directional arrow. That means it is written to the processor and then it's also read back from the processor. And then the indicator just shows the arrow pointing to the left, which means it's being read by the panel view from the processor. And again, same address B55273. Now if I look, I can go into tags now and look up B55273. Right here. And you can see here that this is how the address is laid out. So the address is B55 colon 17 slash one. Now you'll notice this square bracket that says station underscore 029 close bracket. This is what is known as a shortcut. When we create a new application and we import an, a panel builder 32 application into this new application, this shortcut path does not get created so we have to create it. So I'll show you that step next. So what you do is you scroll down and you look for factory talk links, expand this, and you'll see communication setup. Double click on it. And then we'll be creating a new configuration and hit finish. Then here under device shortcuts, we hit add. And we Type in station 029. And then over here, there's two tabs, design or local and runtime target. Design local is the path that your development PC takes to communicate with a processor so you can test your screens out prior to downloading and creating your runtime application. And then the runtime target is what the panel view 
plus 7 terminal will use to communicate with the processor. When it's Ethernet, it's, it's the same path most, in most situations. So here, I'm going to, since I'm not connected to the Ethernet with my processor, you can still create it offline by right-clicking and saying add a device. And then in this situation, the old, the, the old terminal was communicating with a slick 505. So I'm going to go into SLC devices and I'm going to choose the processor right here. Hit OK. And then assign it the IP address that the processor has. So again, I'm just going to use um, like this would be like the IP address that's in the processor itself. like I got to use a different address okay there we go then when you highlight station 29 you should be able to see the processor highlighted as well and then hit apply and it'll say do you want a new path we say yes then we can hit copy from design to runtime which means we'll take this path to this processor and move it over to the runtime target as well to save time. And once we're done, you can hit OK. And your communication setup is complete. Now, in the original application, there were no alarms. But if you did have alarms, you would go over to Alarm Setup right here. And this is where your alarms definitions would have transferred over. So you'd have your triggers here and your messages would be shown here. So again, this application didn't have alarms, so there won't be anything in here. Nothing transferred because nothing was there in the first place. Now at this point, if your communication path is set, and all the tags are using the same shortcut, station underscore 029, all we would have to do at this point is create a runtime file. So in order to do that, we would go to application and create a runtime application. So we click on this, and then here, there's a folder that's defined automatically, but it doesn't have to go there. If you want, you can actually put it on the desktop or somewhere else, wherever it makes sense for you. And then here, the file name that you want to create is just the same as the application I originally created. And then the file type can be any of these. So version 13, we'll just stick with that right now. And then down here, we can say always allow conversion. Um, if you want a little more protection, you can either say never allow conversion or put a password to it. So if I hit save, it's going to create a runtime application. Once you see all the display uh, above drop out, the conversion, pro the, the conversion to the runtime file is complete. And then the last thing you'll typically do is go to Tools and Transfer Utility to transfer the application. And again, you would pick the ellipsis right here. You'd have, make sure you're on the Download tab. You'd click on the ellipsis button, and then in our case, you'd have to go to desktop to highlight the file that we created, and we hit open. Then I like just making sure download as, we use the same name, and then we make sure that internal storage is set. 
you check I like checking this as well run application at startup when application runs and replace communications and then you would hide panel view that that you want to transfer to and then you'd hit download since I don't have a panel view currently hooked up this one uh, will is not the proper one so I won't hit the download but that's what you would have to do so that concludes the conversion process again conversions will vary based on the complexity of the panel view standard application it if it's a simple application with few screens and very basic objects the conversion will usually be very easy but if it's a very complex application there may be some objects that don't convert so again this application conversion process is a good way of checking to see how involved it would be to convert a panel view standard to a panel view plus seven if you have any questions feel free to reach out to revere electric we have multiple specialists in the plc hmi software group that can help you with your conversion needs thank you and have a great day